and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Dalton's Bengals going up against Wilson's Seahawks. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week four matchup. And Percy Harvin is back deep for the opening kickoff. The Bengals ready to get this action started. yard line. Wilson's heading on to the field. He'll be leading the Seahawks today. First down coming up. Wilson set in the pistol. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Nelson's there to take him down. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Uh, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense will have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. They march right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there in that bland defense they're running, take a chance and try to stop this drive. Taken down at the 45. Here's a look at the Seahawks offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Still got it after the play action. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Between plays, let's take a look at how the Bengals' defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Third and six. Catch made. He's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job of the defense finally getting off the field. That's what you want to do. Just get the situation, get the other offense in a third down uh, situation, make the play, then get off the field. Good job. Offense lines up here. The Seahawks snap it at the 41. Got a big lane. And he'll step out. The Bengals might have been caught off guard there on that fourth down play. Well, why? Why would you be caught off guard in a situation like this? You always have to be ready on the defensive side. That time they were not. This play set up by the long gainer. Lynch out to the left. Brought down after a gain of six. You would think Marshawn Lynch is the best in the red zone because that's when it's about power and just physical contact. He is great at that, and that's a solid run. Good pickup by Marshawn Lynch. Hey, good job right here. Offense lines up here. It's second down and three. Throws to the right. Catch made. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. touchdown Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Inside of the uprights. The Bengals are usually one of the best of the league in stopping opponents on their opening drive. Not the case this time. The score's 7-0. to zero. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. Touchback. Head quarterback out of TCU, a former second round pick and Rose Bowl winner, Andy Galt. First down here. Thomas lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Brought down by B. Bain. 
Here's the Bengals offense. They will be expecting far greater efficiency today. A week ago, they turned it over on three occasions. Thomas lined up in the backfield. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Good piece of tackling. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Bengals have been involved in some tight games these past two weeks. They won one last week, but now they trail in another close one, Phil. Given these close games, which we seem to see almost every single week, it usually comes down to which team doesn't turn the football over. Huber is back now. He'll be punting. And that's a gain of maybe five. First down, offense readying for the snap. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Lynch is handed the football. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Split backfield here. Wilson from the shotgun. Here's Baldwin, and he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Play fake. Makes the reception. And that's a gain of nine. Anytime you get over four yards on first down, it doesn't matter what the play is. Is it a run or a pass? That time, nice throw by the QB. Now they're in great position. Second down and short. Second down and one. The give. Lynch is tackled down. Lynch is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down here after the run. Harvins lined up in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Picks up eight here. A lot of times you look at the drag route, you think that's the safety valve. You know what? It is. The quarterback is always taught to look down the field. If there's nobody open, Throw it to the drag route coming across the field. That time they did it, it was just short of getting the first down. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets them another first down. Offense lines up here. The Seahawks take it from the 28. Gets it out for the completion. They'll mark him at the 22. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Second down and four. And he's forced to the ground. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That's how the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. That's an interception. The tackle was made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. First down and 10. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. And now they'll try over again on second down.
Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Thomas going to secure the handoff. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Offense lines up here. Third down and four. And he's thrown to the ground. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Seahawks offense heads on to the field. Wilson comes out in the pistol. First down at the 20. Lynch is taking the handoff. He's tackled right at the 24. That's second down coming up. Lynch is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Reaches out and grabs it. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. First down at the 39. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Game may be fine. The Seahawks have leaned on the ground game to this point, and it's been big for them. Lynch has been a huge part of it here in the first half, Phil, the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back, boy, is he taking advantage of every opportunity. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. The Seahawks have it at the 44, and Gay's there to make the tackle. Half time is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Second down here. The defense comes out of the dime. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. The catch is made, and he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Third down and one. Now on the move. Trying to work that left side. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Oh, it's a terrible job by the defense. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. They've come out in the dime package. Wilson from the shotgun. Getting away from the pressure. Complete to Harvin for about four. Number three. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Lynch is in the backfield. Third down and six. On the money. Brought down after a gain of 15. Hey, nice job by the quarterback that time. Standing there, taking the hit, and completing the pass. You can't always expect to get great pass protection. Marching down the field and taking their time. Lynch Atkins is there to make the stop. The Seahawks know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good, solid run that time. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. 
They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Wilson's got it in the gun. Scrambling now. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. What a good job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He decides to pull it down and run. When you recognize it's man-to-man -man defense, nobody's looking at the quarterback. Do not be afraid of taking off. He did that time and gets the touchdown. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Bengals offense now marches onto the field. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Thomas is going to take the handoff now. The Bengals get a first down. The Bengals call a timeout. They're first. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Thomas has got it on the handoff. That's a gain of seven. The Bengals will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Second down, three for the first. Looking long to Julio Jones. Almost intercepted. That's the end of the first half. And we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Bengals really played well last week, but that hasn't always been the case today. The Seahawks have done a good job upsetting their rhythm, and that shows on the scoreboard. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Third down, inches to go. Wilson's going to look for a gap. He would pick up 23 yards and then dunk out of bounds. Seahawks still on the field. Miller is targeted coming across the middle, and he'd cap off the eight-play drive with a TD. They strike first in the half. Seahawks line up at the three. Wilson's got it on the run, and he'd go in for the three-yard touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Cincinnati for the start of the second half. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Fields the football at the eight. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Bengals now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Thomas lines up in the backfield. The third quarter begins with this play. That brings the play to an end. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. Offense lines up here. The Bengals will take the snap from the 25. Was there that time for the tackle. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Nickel formation here for the defense. The Bengals from the 27. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. Harvin will return the punt. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. 
inches, handed the football. And pick up about four. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Nice job by the defensive backs. The quarterback buys the extra time. He gets outside of the pocket, but look at him. They stay right with the pass receivers. Nobody gets open. Quarterback has to throw it away. Brings it into his body. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, the quarter route. Some people call it the quarter route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second and three after that last carry. Split backfield here. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Here's Baldwin. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. He's brought to a halt. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Play number six coming up on this drive. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The Seahawks have it at the 39. Percy Harvin with the grab. The Seahawks expect to be able to pass the football, but now in consecutive games, that's not been the case. Wilson's got all the tools in the world, but he's had consecutive off weeks. Yeah, when you have that kind of talent at the quarterback position and it doesn't work, I know it's frustrating. You can almost see it when you watch him play. He's frustrated, can't quite understand why everything is not clicking. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Here's Baldwin. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. Well, it's one thing to have talent as a quarterback. You need that to succeed in the NFL, but you got to be smart also. And how about that? That time, the QB changed the protection, took advantage of the defense, which is blitzing, picked them all up. Great job by the QB. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Lynch is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Complete to Harvin. And Gay's there to make the tackle. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Mounting a serious drive. Second down, four to go. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. That's a gain of six. The Seahawks have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. Lynch is dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. That wraps up the third quarter here in Cincinnati, and we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. First down here after the run. What a drive this has been. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Ray Maualuga in on that last tackle. Coming up, second down. This has been a long drive so far. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. He has the grab. Balls the one who brings him to the ground. Looking ahead, the Bengals will be on the road in Arizona next week, while the Seahawks will be playing at home next week. 
The offense heads to the line for the 14th play of this drive. The long drive continues. Third and goal from the four. He'll fire it out to the left. Russell Wilson, Seattle, is in for the score. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Seahawks line up now for the point after. The point after try is in the books. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Bengals bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Andy Dalton backing off the line, dropping back into the shotgun formation. First down at the 20. To Jones. Wagner's in on the tackle. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Split backfield here. Second and four. Got the completion. And picks up maybe three or four. On the way, third down. Offense lines up here. From the shotgun. Julio Jones with the grab. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Dalton from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Jones there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. First down at the 30. Throw to the left. Pulls it in. Games 12. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. First down at the 18. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Second down now. Thomas lined up in the backfield. will go ground. Thomas up the middle. That'll stop the play right there. The Seahawks have given up a lot of points this season. Well documented, but you look at their effort today, and it has been exceptional. Yeah, it's been a bad year for the defensive side, no doubt about it, Jim. But today, it's about effort. They're getting that done. And really, here's what the coach has told the defensive players. Just go out there and do your job. If you do that, you'll have success. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third down and 11. Secures it with two hands. Fourth and nine to go, and they're going to go for it. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Looking to the right side and throwing. say this Jim when you're a gambling football team you're willing to go for it on fourth down even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it you just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense an extra tight end on the field for this one it's out of the pocket for a gain of about five 
And here we have second down. The go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Takes off with it. And gains about one. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Good job that time by the quarterback. You got a lead in the fourth quarter. Don't take chances. Nobody open down the field. So he throws it short and he gets a completion. He wants to return this one. They bring him to the turf. Of course, Jim, you and I would have called a fair catch there because you know why? We're cowards. Who'd want to take this kind of punishment when the defender's all around you? The Bengals from the 22. Looking across the middle, able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. From the gun, Dalton throwing now to his left. Intercepted! Nice tackle. Nice job for the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Seahawks take it from the 33. Lynch brought down at the 20. That's an awesome job by the offense, picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. Picks up about five. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement, like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them, so they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more, and that's how you get a winning streak going. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.